Apollo 7 was the first of the manned Apollo missions, which eventually led to landing the first men on the moon. The astronauts chosen for the mission were Walter Schirra, Don Isley, and Walter Cunningham. The purpose of Apollo 7 was to test all systems to ensure that the Saturn IB spacecraft could be trusted to take men safely to the moon and back. This was the first test of the redesigned Block 2 Apollo Command Service Module, with a crew on board after the Apollo 1 tragedy. The Apollo 7 Saturn IB rocket launched from the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida on October 11, 1968, and didn't return to Earth until 11 days later on October 22. The launch went flawlessly. The first stage separated, and the second stage ignited its engine. The second stage brought the spacecraft all the way to orbit. Finally, the command module separated and ensured that it could be properly controlled by the astronauts. Apollo 7 was the first launch of a Saturn IB rocket to bring a crew into space. It was also the first American space mission that held three crew and the first live TV broadcast aboard an American spacecraft. The following day, the command module performed two burns to return to the second stage, now 80 miles away. The command module came within 70 feet of the second stage to prove that rendezvous, which was essential for a lunar landing, was indeed possible with the spacecraft. There were some minor issues aboard the flight. For example, all three crew members got sick during the flight, which, combined with zero-g conditions, led to some of the crew members becoming irritable and not getting along. Apollo 7 conducted many more series of tests and determined that the vehicle was ready for the next step, and NASA was one step closer to reaching the moon. On October 22nd, the command module of Apollo 7 had a successful sea landing, paving the way for the future Apollo missions. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment below about suggestions for the next video, and thanks for watching.